Well, 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 you're welcome back to Jim Resm. Look at that, it's the steampunk turtle. <clears throat> which will be fighting the Gimla in this little Gimla battle. This is just an absolutely stunning design. We gotta stop the time here uh, so it doesn't get too destroyed. The steampunk turtle is an absolutely stung, stunning and beautiful build by setup. It's so cool, I like it so much. It even has a alloy pipe, which is uh, smoking. Other than that, it's uh, it even has a look at that. It's like producing like steam. It's so cool. This is mainly a diff gun design. It has a lot of diff guns and stuff like that. It's a really cool steampunk turtle. Uh, so I mostly do this little battle mostly because I want to look and show the steampunk turtle again because I think it is such a cool little design. It is a steampunk turtle, it has a lot of engine parts and look like it's even, look at that, it even has like gears turning in the interior here, it's so cool. There is like piping and stuff all over the place. This thing is quite amazing, the steampunk turtle looks like it has steam powered uh, cannons and it is just a beaut- it's, it's a work of art. Okay, it's a work of art. Now, uh, no spoilers, but well, no spoilers. Let's just see how the battle progresses, the steampunk turtle. I think it's two million before it gets any damage. So we're gonna see how this battle goes. Bam, there's some explosion. Look, and this this turret is so cool. It actually rotates. So when the cannons have the ability to aim at a target, they will aim and fire. When they don't, they will just go back to their, their orig orig original place. So yeah, the steampunk turtle is like the turtle lord, a frontsider. It also has some anti-munition things, and as you can see, the gimless anti-munition systems are trying to deal with it. Let's see here. Well, its diff guns are doing some scary work. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't have crams. The steampunk turtle is in the workshop, of course by setup or e lord he's called on setup is uh, his name uh, that i know but i know that he's e lord on the uh, steam workshop and it just has all of these beautiful gears rotating around here it's like a big ass clock this thing is so cool and beautiful and we do love our we, we do love us some steampunk turtle now it is really big and it lags a little bit, you can see we're stuttering, so I'm uh, like, it doesn't have the same interiors as the Turtle Lord, it has a more industrial design which kind of fits it very well, but um, yeah, th that's kind of how it is. So the Steampunk Turtle is at 85 percentages, it has a lot of APS. Is that armor piercing super cab APHE? Oh my god, look at that. Imagine if it sniped the AI. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> oh no. Oh wow. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? This, no way. No way. No way, I was so sure I would, okay, I was so sure I would ace this battle 100%, absolutely 100%. Are you kidding me? It has actually sniped, it has sniped out the main. <laughs> okay, no spoilers, but the Draconia wins over. The old good old Draconia, the killer baby seal wins over the steampunk turtle. Are you absolutely kidding me? It has sniped out the AI. Okay, we have we have the laser AI and 
we have two AIs here still intact. But the main AI is, I think targeting will be very sad now. Oh man, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Uh, I hope targeting is... Oh crap, can you see? No! <laughs> Look at that! This is my main guns! <laughs> They're not even trying! Okay, um, my main guns are not providing anything. Um, the the anti munition systems are just chilling here because they they can't aim. <laughs> I'm so happy I have several AIs. I'm so happy I have different guns on different AIs. Oh my god, it's so close we actually lost this one. Oh my god. I was so you know this is what happens when you're Rupa inte Rupa inte hej när du kommit över bäcken as they say. This is what this is what happens when you are so sure you're gonna win, you don't even think about it. The Draconia wins over the Steampunk Turtle every time, no question about it. So I was so surprised that it actually sniped, it sniped out our AI. Okay, that could have been an instant loss on our part. Okay. <coughs> wow, that's pretty insane. So, uh, the steampunk turtle is not as scary as the turtle lord in general. It has some big similarities. Uh, it's big and it looks like a turtle and it's a frontsider and all that jazz. Uh, this is more machiney. It's not flesh inside, it's metal. And greenish. It's very cool. It's very cool. Man, okay. Uh, I, I just can't get over that it actually sniped, 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 not sniped. Let's not talk about snape. It sniped our AI out. I can't get... Uh. Anyways, so the steampunk turtle is performing better than you might expect. Go and get it right now. It has reached the final number of 69. Anyways, it's starting to look like sad times for the steampunk turtle. We're of course gonna do best of three, and I'm feeling like uh, a crazy pe person. So I think we're gonna try to. I don't. I don't know if I can ha handle that really. Let's try two steampunk turtles versus the gimla. I'm sorry, setup. If it hurts your feelings, I don't think it does. I know that you think the steampunk turtle uh, needs improvements, but you told me that setup, you told me that a year ago, and it hasn't been improved, so I'm going to be so uh, weird and just assume that it will not get improvements. By the way, setup, we need a new turtle. Do you realize that? We need a new turtle. <laughs> Where is okay? This is the steampunk turtle. Where is the uh, the uh, I don't know diesel punk turtle? Where where is the punk rocker turtle? I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's let's go and restart this battle here. I think that uh, it is kind of uh, it is melting away, isn't it? It's, it's very much melting away. I don't know, does it have smoke? Do we have a problem here? Well, it's at 62%, just going backwards. Not a lot of guns is functioning. Let's, let's just jump to a double battle versus the steampunk turtle. Because it looks great. Oh my lord, I don't know how this is gonna go. Two steampunk turtles. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <clears throat> so we the Gimla should definitely lose this battle. We're we're more or less outmatched by I don't know. It's not quite two million. The steampunk turtle it's like less than two million. It's 1.9 ish something whatever. So uh, we we are in a heavy material disadvantage. In uh, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know exactly at the top of my hat exactly what uh, what numbers we're dealing with, but uh, it's it's more than one and a half million less in cost. So 
the, the game lab by all by all all due respect should lose this battle now uh, setup isn't happy with the uh, turtle lord but no the turtle lord is very happy with the, the, but the, the steampunk turtle is not very happy with uh, the, the, the performance of it it has great design though so that has to be said but um, setup also happens to be one of the better from the depth players and designers uh, he builds some really like darn strong things he has uh, been getting really good places not only for aesthetics but also performance in a lot of our community tournaments and battles and stuff like that and if you want to join them you need to check out our discord uh, because that's where everything is arranged um, I try to post them in the arena when I can, but uh, sometimes I'm a little bit slow with it, slash forget it and stuff like that, so yeah. Anyways, I'm happy that my defenses are able to take out the, uh, the missiles, because I do believe they are a tiny bit scary. We're shedding turrets. That's a tiny turret, but in any case, not good. Not good. Gimli is at... 93 no 95 Ooh, one of the turtles sit at 93 i will be very impressed if we are winning this battle in any case we are outmatched very much should be said oh look at all these gear spin set up we need another turtle are these railguns i kind of missed that they are i kind of did not okay they are railguns i just didn't knew I didn't know. They are rail guns. I think it has a lot of diff guns, but I think the uh, big barrage guns are actually uh, like regular guns. Armor piercing high explosive is not a bad choice. That has to be said. Alright. Let's see here, what's happening here? We got a lot of things hitting the water, that's for sure. Ooh, the lambs are popping in there. Okay, next one maybe. Okay, let's check the shells here a little bit quickly. That's armor piercing, hardener, explosive, emergency ejection, defuse, and super cavitation base, right? Seems to be, oh, but this is a, this is an, armor piercing secondary uh, secondary heat isn't it Ooh, that's how we all almost got AI killed last time right should oh my god did does it is it sentient is this like the newest AI is this like the chat GPT 8 or something it's like trying to take over because it feels like it kind of knows where the AI is. Hmm. I don't think it's possible to do that, but I will uh, blame it on steampunk witchcraft. Definitely. I'm glad that the steampunk turtle uh, didn't target the right spot at the AI this time. Makes, it makes it so that all the Gimless main barrages are still online. Which is a good thing for me are you <laughs> wow look at that those flags are really shooting far away I see that's how they're damaged when they come in close that's why they're easy to take out yeah my friend are you tilting or what in any case one steampunk turtle is at 90%, the other one is at 88. Ooh, in the general percentage of things, uh, the Gimle is actually at the higher percentage than both of these combatants, which is looking good. Uh, I will not pitch the Gimle against two turtle lords, however, because I am most certain that the turtle lords will win. And secondly, I would need to outsource that to some of our nice people who have been helping us with recording one of the lagger battles before, because 
If you've seen the Turtle Lord battle, you know that uh, we couldn't take two of them. It would lag too much. The Steampunk Turtle, for whatever reason, lags a little bit less, in my humble opinion. I don't know why. Uh, I just... It seems so. I don't think I can have two Turtle Lords. It's, it's, it's not like at this. Like, look at this. We have a game speed. Oh, shit. Of... Okay, never mind. Disregard everything. It's, it's lagging so much. Um, yeah. Anyways, we're not even at half speed. Oh, crap. Look at him go. Ain't she cute? The golden hall of Gimle. Sliding around there and just doing its thing. Being generally happy and shagging out some nice stuff. Mm. Good times, good times. I will confess to leaving the battle unattended for a minute. Um, it was just too boring. <laughs> so I'm not wasting your time. I'm cutting away the unimportant stuff. Anyways, it seems we'll probably see where this battle is going. It's actually looking right now like the Gimle is able to beat two steampunk turtles. Which is very amazing. And, well... I think I think the steampunk turtle look absolutely great. You need to go to the workshop and check it out. And if I didn't forget that, I put the link somewhere in the comments or something um, for this. And if of course you if you want to see where the gimle is being made, you should totally check out the series of building a superior battleship, which goes through where when we're building the gimle, basically. Very nice indeed. If that uh, sounds interesting, you might also want to subscribe to the channel because, of course, we're gonna build more ships in the future, uh, aside from the tutorials and stuff like that. Um, I will also say huge thanks, while we're at it, to the commissioned officers in the Army of Jimadism who are supporting the channel at uh, Patreon every month. We have, uh, from Admiral to Cadet, you can join the different ranks um, there and as a cadet you can actually like from any level you can get access to my blueprints all my blueprints like this turret <laughs> this this turret here the arcubalista and this one the super davidos um, destroy uh, detonator why not the laser turret why not this cute little turret and uh, well any of them basically together with some other assets so if you're if if that's something that's interesting, that's uh, one of the ways I'm trying to give back a little bit for the generous support you show me. Oh, and if you are a YouTube member, if you're supporting the channel YouTube, via YouTube memberships, you can't get out to access to this. Uh, but if you send me some message, I'll try and um, send you the zip file over mail or something like that. Um, I can't make channel members have auto access to the file collection because Patreon has a very good solution for that. But um, well, if you're a member and want and want the, I don't know, like the prefabs, the turrets, stuff like that that I didn't publish on the workshop. Everything is available for you. So yeah, I can fix that. In any case, both steampunk turtles are down to 77 and 72 percentages. They seem to not fire very much at all anymore. Uh, the Gimli is at 87 percentages. So it has gone down a little bit there. Uh, a lot of the other battles we checked out, it has been a lot less damaged. <laughs> but, uh, well, those armor piercing high explosive and armor piercing secondary heat charge shells, they do pack a punch. And we almost got AI sniped during the previous battle, so that was a little bit scary. Oh my. Look at that, look at that. Looks like the armor-piercing high explosive shell has gone through here. And was about to destroy the AI. Wow, that's cool, but it didn't. Because we had a secondary layer of ERA. I'm so happy I did that secondary layer of era. 
Ooh, look at this rubber area here. It's actually damaged. Yeah. That could have happened too. So I'm very, you know, I did think we would win over one steampunk turtle. I did not think we would win over two steampunk turtles. But uh, I did also very much not expect one steampunk turtle to almost AI snipe us. So that's pretty cool. Now, this is a little bit of a lazy version of best of three, but uh, if we do one battle against the t steampunk turtle and it loses, and then we do a battle with the Gimli against two steampunk turtles and they lose, I think that's kind of best of three, right? So I would say this, the, the Gimli is able to take out uh, one steampunk turtle, definitely. We can say that's a conclusive evidence of best of three. <laughs> Uh, and uh, it probably takes out two of them, but that's uh, that's not uh, Well, I don't know if we did that this battle again, maybe we would have reached uh, different results who knows and It is of course slightly possible that the steampunk turtles wins It's just let's say unlikely God damn it the lag one steampunk turtle is down to the nice number of 69 percentages Oh, both of them are, actually. Which is cool. Uh, but yeah, so the the team 2, the, the, the team uh, Steampunk Turtles are at 69 percentages and the game is at 86. And the lag is so bad now. Um, man. It seems that it lags because it's... Uh, propeller pod paws are a little bit touchy here so yeah that that uh, that explains a lot um, well that's not playing in favor to the steampunk turtles but it's also not playing in the favor of our fps so um, yeah that's why oh man the steampunk turtles are deciding to completely collide. One is at 67%, the other is at 66 and Gimli is at 85 percentages, and it hasn't been dropping very quickly recently. Uh, so with this setup, I will uh, most likely conclude that the Gimli is definitely winning this battle because that's how that's where it's going. Um, and if we did this battle again, well, it's possible we would get other results, but we can conclusively say that the uh, game is winning over one steampunk turtle at least, and probably two. So I think that's pretty amazing. Uh, with that said, I will thank you all for have watching this video, but right now uh, my FPS is so bad, I'll need to restart from the depth. So thanks a lot for watching. This is your host, Jim Odesum playing at game speed of 0 0.12 uh, signing out subscribe and like the video bye bye